In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to have multiple dropdowns and have them refer to the one before. So in this case, we have a set of states that we're using as a dropdown, and we want to choose a state and associate a city to it so that only in this dropdown will we see the cities associated with that state. You could change this and look at Texas and see cities associated with Texas. Let's look and see how to do this in the editor. From our database, we create our a states collection and it has a name and it will have a relationship with cities. We're also going to have a cities collection with a name or the name of the city <clears throat> and a core uh, relationship to the state. You'll see in the records here that the first column will be the city and then the related state. You could manually update these. And have it save. Or you could upload a CSV. When uploading the CSV, you'll just need two columns, the name of the city and the name of the state. Because you have the relationship property, you won't need to have a separate state property. It will automatically feed into the name and the state here. You'll see in the state's database that there is a relationship built here to note this state and how many cities are associated with it. On the actual screen itself, you're going to use a text field if you want to label your dropdown. And then this is going to be a dropdown component. When we add that, we select the add component. We search for a dropdown menu. We add the dropdown menu to the screen. And then you can select what this is a menu option of. In our first case, we're looking at states. And this is going to be a list of all of our states. And you can sort it to your choosing, depending on what you're trying to uh, list in this menu. You're then going to add another dropdown. And this would be for your city. In this case, we're choosing cities. And it's all cities, but we want to ensure that we filter to only receive the cities of the previous selected dropdown. So you'll need to create an add filter here. And you're going to filter that the name of the city is equal to that the state name is equal to the form input select for name. So what we're saying is this drop down here is called select for. You could obviously rename that. Here we want to say if the current city's state name is equal to the selected state name then show that item. If we preview again, you'll see here that we are able to select these. So we pick Georgia, and we're going to see these four cities for Georgia only. We can pick Texas and see these cities for Texas. 